Along the Gulf Coast, everyone is scrambling to prepare for today's storms. Matt Gutman is in Burris, Louisiana with the latest from there. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Sharon. We're just a couple of hours away from the leading bands of Bonnie. And this morning, as you mentioned, there is really no idea what's going to happen when there is a collision between a tropical storm and an oil spill never happened before. Scientists are concerned it could throw more of that oil onto the beaches here, onto the ma uh, marshlands, or maybe chop it up and disperse it far out at sea. This morning, buildings boarded up, bags packed, and thousands of tons of equipment truck to higher ground. Bonnie has weakened, but concern over its path directly towards the spill site remains. That has the, the chance of pushing more oil into our coast, into our wetlands, and so obviously this will interrupt efforts like the skimmers. Louisiana is still in a state of emergency. The floodgates around New Orleans are closed. At BP's nerve center in Venice, Louisiana, ground zero for the spill controlled chaos. Boom, that's supposed to block the oil coiled up. Forklifts stack pallets before being moved northwards. The only thing staying, these anchors, too heavy to float away. You can imagine when we get three, four foot waves, it gets a little hairy for them. It's one of the reasons the government ordered this flotilla of ships, the largest assembled since World War II, to leave the spill zone. It means leaving that stacking cap, sealing in the oil for eight days now, unattended and possibly unmonitored. The question now is putting them someplace where they're safe and out of harm's way so they can return. Allen believes the ships could return within a matter of days, but the highest priority, bringing back the drill rig that's just 48 hours away from piercing the crippled well. It would take up to two weeks longer to kill the well with drilling mud and then cement. And the big unknown, what happens to up to 70 million gallons of oil still in the Gulf when they meet a wall of wind, rain and waves. That will bring a large amount of oil inland and that will oil a large region of Louisiana's marshlands. Now there are dozens of skimmers in this in this marina bill that are lashed together for protection because th by this time tomorrow the storm surge could bring water up to my waist. In fact, the entire area from here all the way up to New Orleans, 70 miles away, could be entirely submerged.